Now, you thought that would be nice to release the Christmas girl on Christmas, right? But nope, that's Medusa. Instead, let's release the Christmas girl on the very 1st of December, and definitely not on Christmas for the Christmas girl. Nicola is the Christmas girl, and despite the fact that she's giving out presents to other people, she is a thief, which is kind of ironic. Triple Buzz is a skill that is exclusive to the EM version. JP did not have that, and the one that they have in JP version was a one-hit shield crack. Sonic Rush is a four-hit random dagger, and at first I say she would have it all the time, but with this change to her, you can swap out either you want a Triple Buzz, which is a three-hit shield crack, or Sonic Rush. Armor Corrosive is a special skill that Nicola have because having an AOE debuff with a ton can be boostable is extremely rare in this game. In fact, I don't think there's any other day right now in the game or even in JP that also have an AOE debuff that can be boostable like Nicola have. Nicola main appeal though is that she's an SP region for your party. Because SP give costs about 50 SP, you don't want to spend this constantly and only use it when you have 3 BP for Nicola so that you don't lose SP quick on Nicola. The first passive got changed from the Japanese version. It used to read, whenever Nicholas attacks, she regen 1% SP of the damage that she dealt to the enemy. This new passive that Nicola have is definitely better than what Nicola used to have because now you don't even need to use Nicola as an SP regen character anymore. Just put Nicola in the back row. She doesn't even have to be in front row for the damage buff. Although 5% is a small percentage though, but 5% is 5% and some extra damage is always nice. The second passive is nice if you want to play Nicola as a front row character. If you're constantly breaking the enemy shield, you're constantly giving your team SP, then this passive will help Nicola sustain those SP costs of the skill that she used. The one thing that Nicola cannot do yet that she can do in JP is that her ultimate grant the entire team front row 100 SP for your team. Nicola can also self-sustain herself through a skill called Magic Reaper, which basically grant her SP back to the damage that she dealt, a small percentage of it. Usually, Nicola will not bring this because her passive is good enough for her self-sustain, but if Nicola really need that SP because she consumes a lot of SP on the field, then you can also bring the skill as an option. The only problem with Nicola is that her SP region is not that high in demand. Character that have SP problem is probably the warrior because they have a low SP pool. So for those characters, all you need to do is just have a second DPS behind them. So let's say Fiora do enough damage and her SP run low, just switch Fiora to the back line, let the DPS behind her keep doing all the damage, and then constantly switch them, cycling them back and forth. If you can do that cycle of rotation properly, then you probably don't need Nicola SP region. I really cannot give her status on Ian correctly because she got buff and this buff is actually significant this time and it's actually a good improvement compared to the Laono and Medusa buff. So I really cannot give the exact status of the Ian. So I just talk about JP instead. Over there, she is good at what she do. The only problem is that there is not that much of a demand for what she do. And also half of her niche got taken over by a freaking battle of sex hamster. I will compare Nikola and Hasumi, but only in the SP region skill because both of these characters, what they do beside the SP region is very different. Nikola SP region is single target, while Hasumi region is an AOE region to the entire front row. Nikola is mostly better here than Hasumi because usually characters have SP problem or warrior where the SP pool is extremely low. Usually warrior have 300 SP, and 5% of 300 is around 15 SP per turn region if you use Hasumi, but Warrior consume a lot of SP and 15 SP per turn is not enough to keep up with that warrior. Nicola on the other hand can grant 100 SP immediately, so Nicola has an easier time of keeping up with the SP cost of that warrior than Hasumi is. I think that Nicola buff is extremely good for her. Her new 3 hit shield crack basically means her role as a shield breaker is now expanded to all enemy instead of enemy only with the dagger. And her second passive basically turned her into a damage backpack. So whenever you want to speed on content stuff like killing Argus or Arena Farm, just put Nicola in the back line. She doesn't have to do anything. Just stay there and exist, and your whole team shall do more damage. And with these two changes to her, I shall now declare that Nicola is no longer a low tier character.